MLB The Show's tour of the minor leagues continues as we make a stop in the 16-team Pacific Coast League. Tonight, a matchup of teams at opposite ends of the division between the Salt Lake B. Matt Milburn will be on the mound for the series opener. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, it wasn't a great performance in his last start, but he did pitch well enough to earn the win. We'll see if he can turn in a little bit better performance in this one. Yeah, you should take a look at our visiting club as they enter play here this evening. They come and try to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately, 5-2 and two over their last seven. Quick turnaround after a short little homestand, Matty. 4-2, and two, though. They played well, taking four out of the six games they had to in front of the home crowd. They walk into this environment on the road today looking to set the tone for this road trip. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs, insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. Total agreement, Matt, in particular that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. Swing and a liner, but foul. He can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Stepping into the box, Ryan Court. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. Off the plate and away there, one ball, no strikes. Weak grounder down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Now here it comes. Got one. On he pops it up. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. He'll try again one two. Tried to oh, shoot the down. corner and he missed it two and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats and all in all he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Fouled away. Heading out towards shallow right. Sanger in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. Settling in now, Mikey White. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Lays off 1 0. Line toward right center. But he will run this one down in right center. A tough L9, and the inning is over. Last half of the second set to go. Leading Next will be the cleanup hitter, David Fry. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Breaking ball for a strike, 0 and 1. Love the early lead, but this game is far from over. Got to stay on top of what you're trying to do out there and execute pitches. Behind 0 and 2 now. And the knuckle curve that time. Got him swinging, and that's the first out. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more Batting bite fair. than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a field thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. A one pitch on its way. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Every pitcher looks to get off to a good start, and I'd say he's off to a good start. How about the first five batters he's faced? Three of them he sent down via the strikeout. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this line. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Now to the plate, Robert Poisson, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Popped him up. Bush moving to his left. One away. One away. 
Stepping up to the plate, Ryan Goins. Hitting right at the one for four pace with a 250 batting average for the season. One and oh the count. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and oh. No strike. Strike called, two and one. One out, nobody on. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. J.J. Schwartz is on deck. And he fouls this one off. High in the air into shallow left center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Into the box, J.J. Schwartz. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. In there for strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. The count doesn't mean much to this batter. He's all in. He's not concerned with striking out, so he's going to get his A swing off. To 1 and 2 now. Now here's the pitch. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. Now at the plate, Bo Wade. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there, north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. That's his second strikeout of the game. I wouldn't be surprised if a coach finds him in the dugout and gives him a little talk about shortening up and putting the ball in play. Good things tend to happen when you do that in these kinds of conditions. And they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2-0 and now. And he watches this one in there for a high strike. The 2 1 it is a breaking oh, ball man. in off the plate. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Here's a hard hit ball that'll be caught out there at short. And that will become out number two. Digging in now, Mikey White. He's 0 the for 13, 1 thus far. Called hey, strike on the knuckle curve, and he's ahead in the count. White. Nothing in one. A 2 out. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Come on, guys. Two out, nobody on. Pulled high in the air out to left field. I got it, I got it. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Stepping into the box, David Fry. He'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. He's just ringing up strikeouts left and right, but what's really impressive to me, he hasn't walked anyone either. He's just pounding the zone. His stuff is dirty today. A high fastball is in there. That elevated fastball right there, that is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Ready with the 0-2. That's out. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. That's back-to-back -back punch outs, and he's really starting to rack them up now, guys. I've got eight strikeouts now, in my scorebook for him now, here. so he's got good okay. stuff. First pitch fastball, swung on and missed 0-1. Oh, 
I know it's cliche and it's tired at times, but a well-located fastball down at the knees is still the best pitch in the game. Behind 0-2 now. Uh, really bunched him up there, but he'll stay alive as he fights this one foul. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now. Stepping in, Robert Poisson. He flew out in his last at bat. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strikes. And he takes a cold strike one. That counts. One and one. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Hey, no outs now. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. That's ten strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more now before that. he's done. Looks Still like a lot league. of game left yeah. in this oh, yeah. one. And he holds up here, but the pitch Go is a cold where? strike anyway. Ball, Off the plate, strike. one ball, one strike. Bases are empty, one man out. And he pumps the fastball one by ball. him here. One and two now. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ball game. At the plate, J.J. Schwartz. First two men now in the back. inning have both gone Look down via the punch out. So we'll see if he can fare any better. Two down now. The wind up and the 0-1. Off the plate, ball one. We've seen this before. Fastballs in, then breaking balls away. That's been his plan of attack throughout the first half of this game. I got to count. One and two. A ball and two strikes. The count now with the bases empty and two away. Three. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing it. Ready once again. Ball away. He'll start things out here in the bottom of inning number seven. Ball, First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Fastball swung on and missed. Even though we're late into this ball game, this guy's velo is still top notch. This guy's a horse. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. Standing in, Ryan Court. Now no hits for him to this point, up. not unlike many of his fellow teammates. Court. And he gets ahead 0-1. Hey, one down now, one down. 0-2 now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. One out, nobody on. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. Ready for another shot now. Mikey White. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. That one bends into the zone. A strike on the breaking ball. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked a guy up with it. That's up, that's up. Popped him up. Kruger has a play. And that retires the side. The perfection continues. 21 standing in. David Fry. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. One ball, one strike to count. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. One and two. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Yet another strikeout for him on the mound. And, fellas, this has been one of his favorite victims tonight. That's the third time he sent him backing. So he's got him pretty well figured out. Not that the rest of this lineup has been much better. Greg Dykeman comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. 
The bouncer to the left side. Fielded cleanly. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. Next will be the designated hitter, Logan Davidson. And they're down to their final four outs here, Dan. Yeah, and it's not looking too good for them right now, Matt. They've got a significant hill to climb, but they've got to take it one bat at a time. A couple of guys get on, and then who knows what could happen. A ball and a strike. All right, come on now. No, now a can't. breaking ball, but it's low. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself <laughs> at a good hitter's count. Count even at two and two. Here it comes. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. 24 have been set. Daniel Tanaka now comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth. And he puts a bow on this one to end it. How about his 25th save of the season? He's proven to be a solid tool at the back of the bullpen.